No one knows what's down there. All we can do is stick to Hello there guys, thank you for dropping by to the stream, it's good to see you all in the chat. So, I thought I would drop in with Google Stadia and give it a go live on stream. I literally got the code today, so I set it all up, Google sent me it for free because I helped them out on a promotion previously, and now I want just to try it with you live on stream to see what it was like. So far, I've literally had no issues whatsoever. I've seen other people complaining about different things, but I'll, I'll jump into Destiny 2, which is a game I literally haven't played since today, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Because for me at least, and 
I'll show you guys now. Like, I find it pretty responsive. I don't really have any issues with like latency or anything like that. Reopen the game to play. One second, guys. Just need to close my other tabs. Right, there we go. Sorry guys, my Google account is basically a business account, so it won't let me play Stadia with it. So I have to play it on my other Google account. So obviously when I log into YouTube to stream, I have to swap back to my account, otherwise it won't let me play the game. But now we've sorted that out, I can actually log in and play. Loving all the S in the chat, guys. Have you actually tested Stadia yourself yet? Here is a live demonstration. I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, by the way, guys, just because I prefer... I have got the controller just here, though, which I will be showing you guys um, at some point. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys on a mouse and keyboard because I know all PC gamers are going to be interested. Let's skip this intro. No Skyrim today, guys. So, this is what it looks like. And to be honest, it's quite interesting because obviously my PC is actually not good enough to play things like Red Dead Redemption at um, such high quality in 4K. So, it's pretty cool being able to literally play this in my browser, which is I'm going to like turn the screen on and off when I log in and out because obviously it's in a browser and I don't want you guys to see my personal information. But... I mean, this is me moving around with the mouse and left, right, left, right, left, right. And I would say that that is super responsive. If I pressed, you guys can hear me press the spacebar key. It's like, it's instant response. Because I, I saw something online where someone just didn't have, uh, was saying that the latency was really bad. But like, personally, I mean, let's go and actually play the game. But I think it's like, it's genuinely better than um, 
when I was playing at Google's HQ. But bearing in mind, my internet speed is really good. So, um, but obviously this is in my own home. So I've got my, I don't know, I can show you, I've got some nuts here. I've got a jug of water. I don't know how I can prove to you that I'm even at my own home. I can show you the bin. There we go, there's a bin. For all you know, I've got a green screen behind me so I could be anywhere in the world. But hey, here we are. Thanks for the donation, guys. I appreciate that, man. And Taser, thanks for dropping by. This is probably going to be quite a busy stream with people spamming F in the chat for Bants. So here we go. Let, let me know what you guys think. Um, if I just pause the game quickly and move this slightly up. Um, so I think this is... I think Destiny 2 is going to be 60 FPS. Now, bear in mind, I'm recording my browser and then streaming it to you at 60 FPS. So, obviously, you might notice some differences um, in terms of what I'm seeing on screen. It's a risk, but, but um, I mean, so far, it's been really, really, like, quick, really responsive. And I'm playing on computer, so I don't think it's 4K. I think it's 1080p, but I'm also streaming at 1080p. But um, I've not noticed any drop in quality when there's like action on the screen or anything. It just seems to be like really, I'm really, I'm, I almost don't believe it's happening, but I'm literally sitting here playing it on my browser. I've tried it on my phone screen as well. Um, and obviously you can swap the screens as you go, which is really nice. I've never played Destiny, so this is quite interesting anyway. deep in enemy territory. But like even like it's it's actually pretty incredible. I played a fighting game as well, which was also free with Stadia Pro. Um, though I'm terrible at fighting games, so I won't be demonstrating that for you today. Stay focused. If your tracker blinks, it just works. But actually, it does just work. Now, obviously, I feel like I have the ideal situation because my internet is incredibly fast. But. Um, like this just it just feels very it just feels like I'm playing a game on my computer. Like by all means correct me if I'm wrong, but like it's actually less laggy than if I was playing on my computer, which is just incredible. I mean I can't really believe it to be honest. Like it's just instant, instant feedback. I like press the button and it fires immediately. There's no delay or latency. I mean, obviously there there is latency, but Google have done some really clever things to like reduce it down from what I understand. So like, say for example, you're playing the game at 60 FPS. They're on their systems. They're playing the game a lot faster so that it appears for you as 60 FPS just because they've got like the server power to to um, sort of reduce that latency or make it appear, appear very, um, very small. So right now, because I'm on my PC, I guess I'm playing through an ethernet cable plugged into my computer because we're playing in the browser window. So I guess I'm kind of minimizing that latency um, even further than if I was trying to play on like my mobile phone. But obviously, this is my recording setup, so I'm gonna be playing on my computer most of the time anyway. But for me at least, uh, like, what do you guys think of the footage so far? How do I throw a grenade? Is it G? No, it's not G. Kind of just makes me excited to play Doom Eternal on Stadia again. Because that was so fun. This guy has a shield. Sorry if you're like a Destiny Pro and you're watching this and you're just thinking, what on earth is this person doing? Does it look good to you guys? I mean, it feels really good to me. We'll play Red Dead after this. Oh, one sec. Oh my god, I have a, a shield? Well, I think I summoned it way... Can I shoot through the shield? No, I can't. It's portable cover. Well, you guys seem to like the look of it, which is nice to see. 
like reading the chat and playing an FPS game. I guess it's a bad mix. But... I mean, the thing is, is like people are doing uh, like reviews and stuff, and I've not even. I literally got it today, so I was like, well, if I live stream it, then you guys can make up your own opinion just from like pure gameplay, unedited, uncut footage, and um, you know, there's like no BS behind that, is there? Because I don't think many people have really released much gameplay of it yet. So I just wanted to do a session for you guys to kind of make up your mind about what you think, you know? What is that? Yeah, so we're going to play a bit of Bet Destiny 2 for now and then we'll swap over to Red Dead Redemption and see how that does. But I played a little bit before the stream and like literally had no problems at all. Keep pushing forward. I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. I think the main issue, I guess, is going to be, um, like, if you have, like, a really old internet connection or something and you're trying to play... I mean, you can still play at, like, 720p, even with, like, a low-speed internet connection. So, I don't know. I, I think it's like Google's trying to minimize, obviously, the amount of uh, things in between their servers and you. And, um... They came looking for a fight. Give them these meant to be the soldiers. It's very much Halo, isn't it? I've never played this game, so I'm, I'm sorry if I'm insulting any uh, hardcore fans here. Nah, it feels nice, man. What's your speed? My internet speed is really good. I'm actually, like, so before I, like, release my review of this, I want to play at my parents' house um, to, like, have a average, what I would say average in the UK internet speed. Jesus. for nearby ships. Doing great. Focus on the ball. If you guys want me to do anything to like test it, let me know, yeah? Hopefully there are spiders. <laughs> Why? You're a hardcore Destiny fan. Have I offended you in any way then? <laughs> I honestly didn't know if that was an enemy. <laughs> Collect loot. Give me that loot. I've never used NVIDIA Shield or any other streaming service, um, so I don't really have things to compare it against, but I mean, I know people's main worry was latency, and at least for me, I literally, I mean, I feel like I'm just playing the game on my computer, so yeah, I just, you know, it's very responsive and instantaneous feedback. Like everything I do is just yeah, it's it's like having everything. It's I may as well have like brought Des. I don't even know if Destiny's on computer, but I may as well have brought it for my computer and be playing it right now and be fooling you all. Ha ha. But no, this is this is genuinely stadia. Swap to your power weapon. I have a power weapon. Oh, it's a shotgun. Nice. It looks like a shotgun. Jesus. Yeah, hopefully Bethesda doesn't add Fallout 76 to Stadia. It's only a matter of time though, because I guarantee they will. They literally like do everything through microtransactions on that game, so I think it's only a matter of time. Let's take a look at your new ship. My new ship. Woo! How much is Football Manager in the store? It might be cheaper on Stadia Pro because they've done like some discount stuff. 
the way I look at this is like, if you kind of want to play at 4K, 60 FPS continuously and don't need to worry about upgrading your console or computer for years to come, then I see Stadia as literally like just a subscription based console. Um, but obviously, yeah, you have to pay for the games as well. So unless they're going to cut us some good deals, which I haven't really looked at all the prices yet. I did buy Red Dead Redemption 2. Does Google Stadia players advertise? I mean, for me, it it's literally it feels better than when I played it at the um, Google Stadia booth at Gamescom. It feels really fluid. But then I guess like so right now it's like 9 p.m. in the UK, um, so it's pretty busy. It's almost I think it's coming on 10 now, but um, it's like peak kind of internet time. People are coming in from work and like doing whatever they want with the internet. My internet speed's really good, so I think I've got like 60 down at least. Uh, and obviously I'm uploading at the same time as well um, to stream this to you guys. So my internet is kind of like a very good case scenario. Um, I'm going to test it at my parents' house before my review, obviously. And I will show you guys everything in my review to sort of say, hey, this is what the game looks like at this point, And... I don't know if it's any different at lower internet speeds or not yet, but I'm going to test that um, before I review the game. You died on a battlefield long before my time. Something special brought us together. They but I was kind of impressed that the they were saying you could get like 60 FPS, 720p, which is still like what I would watch forever. YouTube in on my phone usually anyway. Um, because the screen's so small, I mean, you could you probably play fine. like 480 and be fine on your phone, really. Um, but just because the game's just, yeah, no, it seems really good. I'm, I'm really impressed. The I mean, yeah, I don't, don't know what else to say. I've got nothing to complain about so far, so, Humanity yeah, faced it's kind of weird. But the Traveler made a choice. It's sacrificed, destroyed. Any controller lag? Um, so currently, I, I've got the controller here. I'm playing on mouse and keyboard because I heard complaints about mouse and keyboard. So I was like, I'll play on mouse and keyboard and see if it's bad. But I've, I've literally had no issues at all. Like, you guys saw the gameplay. I was like super responsive. Um, I mean, I with the controller, I assume this would be better, especially on the Wi-Fi because, um, yeah. But a, a lot of the features aren't there at launch yet, so um, I have to plug this in via USB right now to use it on my computer. I can actually, like, so I can use my Xbox controller to play on Stadia, which is cool, because I actually quite like my Xbox 360 controller. Um, haven't even used the Xbox One controller, but, I mean, I can plug that in now. And I was playing on that earlier. The last survivors of humanity's collapse call the city home. <laughs> So yeah, B to skip, nice. Okay, so I'm on the Xbox controller now, so maybe I can like, I don't know, maybe I could kind of show you what I'm doing and if, like, what the response time is, if that makes sense. Like, if I jump, then you guys can see when I press the button and when I jump. But do bear in mind that I'm using an SLR camera and my computer has to, there's gonna be some delay for my computer recording the 4K SLR camera footage and putting it in OBS and then rendering it and uploading it. Same with the audio and stuff as well. So that like there's things in streaming that you won't be able to see um, until I make you know a video, if that makes sense. There's always going to be. Can I jump? Yeah. Okay. So if I, how can I? Okay. If I press the A button, you guys can see me press it. That's that's instant. I mean that looks instant from what I can see in the OBS window. That's that's ridiculously good. And we're online now, right? I can see like other players moving around. So yeah, you can see if I look this way, that way, this way, that way, jump up and down. Yeah, I mean, it's it's look it's really responsive, man. Like I don't I I saw other people like some people complaining online and maybe they have bad internet, but like this is this is ridiculously good and it plays better than my bloody computer does. So 
No, I'm just, I'm blown away. This is like my genuine reaction. Like, I'm super surprised. God damn, my character looks like some kind of evil dark elf or something. Mate, this game looks sick, though. Show us what state, how it looks, how steady it looks like. Okay, looks super responsive. Yeah, I mean, that's that's like a great demonstration, I think. Like me just literally pressing the A button and you guys can see, like, there there I mean it's, it's just instant especially like the analogs really obvious because you can really see that like that's that's with an Xbox controller obviously so it's not even the stadia controller just because I, I didn't I didn't have the USB wire as well I don't I can't really show you like my mouse but it's it's exactly the same it's as responsive as well so uh yeah like it's it's just really fucking good man <laughs> I'm, I'm super... Oh my god, there's a whole city down there. Doesn't this make you excited for... Uh, what's that game? Star Citizen. Um, with the procedurally generated worlds. I mean, the cool thing about Stadia as well is... And I don't... I think this is probably years in the future. But in theory, because everything's running off the Google servers... That no game developer, if they use just Stadia as a single platform... Would be like limited by consoles or the average pc because at the end of the day if you sell a video game you've got to sell it to like the broad audience of console gamers and pc gamers um which is why you know red dead redemption 2 came out on consoles first and then pc because the market's bigger on consoles for gamers so when you like look at this and like think of like star citizen and procedurally generated worlds and whatnot and just unlimited planets and like having like google servers at your as a resource is just like incredible to sort of comprehend what could be done without having those limiting factors there is stadia good yeah i mean you can you can rewatch the stream later um i'll upload it or something and uh you can see what i've shown off so far but i mean what do you guys think so far can you show me the home screen yeah sure i can show you that so i think if i go shift and tab um and then i hold escape to exit um exit game yeah so so this is the home page here or actually this isn't the home page this is kind of like uh what it looks like if you want to like swap games so i've brought red dead redemption 2 and shadow samurai showdown which i've never heard of but uh it's a fighting game which i'm terrible at fighting games but yeah i'm not going to humiliate myself in front of you all uh by playing this but um you can also capture screenshots and you can record things as well um, and then you can view them on the mobile app, which is kind of crazy if, like, you want to start streaming. Like, you don't need all the all the software and whatnot. Like, I'm using OBS at the moment um, to do that. So that, I feel like it's such a entry into those kind of things. And there's loads of other features that aren't available yet for me to show you, but uh, it's really cool so far. So let's have a look. Red Dead Redemption so that's all you do it's really weird like so i brought red dead redemption 2 and then i was just like play game and then it just like starts and i'm like jesus i didn't even have to download anything or and the loading screens are like stupid fast because i played a little bit of this game on console and i i don't know it's just like this is really weird like i didn't have to download anything what's going on yeah it's crazy No, Destiny. I just played Destiny. You just missed it. I think you can backtrack in the stream, right? What's the latency like? I, I'll show you again when we uh, play Red Dead Redemption. Um, but I, I showed you guys earlier, like me with the controller and the analog stick to kind of demonstrate um, what it was like. Uh, do you know what? Let's just play with the Xbox controller. But I think it's cool that they, they um, already had the... Thanks for the subscriptions, by the way, guys, and the donations and whatnot. Appreciate all the support. You know, YouTube's been giving me a rough time recently. I did contact uh, YouTube about the donations on that copyrighted video, and they were like, oh, my God, we didn't know that could happen. So I don't know if it's recoverable, but I, it's one of those sort of lawyer things, I guess, at this point. Is it free? Red Dead Redemption's not free. They are going to make Stadia free um, at some point next year, I believe. 
I'm playing Red Dead single player. I've never played Red Dead online, so I, I mean, at least the single player will give me some kind of tutorial. I'm going to skip through the cutscenes, though, so we can, like, just kind of show off the game a little bit. So I know this is running at 30 FPS, by the way, um, just so you all know. Um, for some reason, I think, I don't know if it's just PC Red Dead Redemption, like, both on Stadia and on PC is limited to 30 FPS for now, at least. Um, but yeah, it's not 60 FPS gameplay. Um, it's 30 FPS. So if you're wondering why it looks, you know, like 30 FPS, it's because it is. So yeah, I mean, I can show you like just turning around for that guy who asked like on the on the controller if I go like this, turns that way, then you know it's it's super responsive as you can see. I, I remember this being an extremely long introduction scene as well. But I mean, the crazy thing is, is like this, my PC doesn't look this good. It would be laggy and the framework would be going up and down and stuff because I need to upgrade it. But like this, I mean, literally for what is it like uh, $12 or something a month? I don't know. I need to check. Um, or £8.99 or something. Um, but yeah, it's is it does everything my two grand computer did from a few years ago um better which is kind of sad because <laughs> i've built the computer and yeah it's it's crazy how's nottingham i live in milton Keynes now i moved moved house big easy thanks for the donation mate oh we got stickers now love that <laughs> of course you would go for that sticker i'm satisfied with your latency test thanks yeah, well, obviously, like, my internet connection's good, and I don't... I'm going to do a proper review and test it at my parents' house, so I'll get back to you on the other situations, but I mean... I mean, you say not bad. I mean, what what do you think's wrong with it? Low settings. Um, I don't... Can you change the graphics on the Stadia? Because, I mean, I assume it would just be at the max settings, right? It's not like a PC, like I don't need to change the graphical settings. I mean, I don't think there would be any graphical settings on Stadia, or at least there shouldn't be, apart from like personal preference stuff. No, no, there's no graphical settings from what I can see. Um, I mean, I assume it would just be like the max settings because I, you, they're literally running on a google server aren't they i can't play skyrim on stadia guys i'm sorry todd howard hasn't re-released it there yet when will i do another skyrim or fallout i've got an oblivion video on the way didn't know what those were but it's kind of cool also your <laughs> your demonetization series is my favorite my new series i know Thanks, Big Easy, though, for the donation, mate. I appreciate it. Hopefully this video doesn't get copyright strikes now. It's literally just me talking, so, you know. It's happened before, but hopefully it doesn't. Can you do an internet speed test? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do all that for the review. Most countries don't have crazy fast internet speeds. I think if it makes sense for you, then, you know, then it's something you need to consider but obviously like if you have what like five megabytes Mike. per second then maybe it's not going to be the best choice Gentlemen, for you found anything? I think so. found a little home if like every other week way. you don't have okay. internet because there's a hurricane outside then you know sure. again it might not Place be the best choice for you but i think like, like for the people that do have good internet me. like it's kind of <clears> if you're like a casual you gamer as well and you don't I mean, even me, I mean, streaming this like this, my whole computer is going into rendering this OBS content at, you know, 60 FPS. I think I'm uploading just a bit bigger than 1080p and then YouTube compresses it a bit. Um, I'm not streaming at 4K, but I could because um, Stadia is taking on all the, all like the legwork of running the video game, which is kind of awesome. Why should someone buy this over an Xbox and PS4? I think the main appeal of it is, obviously, if you have good internet, then I guess you could buy Stadia. You never need to upgrade your Xbox or PS4, and you're running at 4K, 60 FPS. Um, especially once they out, you know, put out all their other features, I think it's going to look even more attractive to some people. 
vehicle. I just ran into his horse and wondered why my controller vibrated. What What's your FPS there? I mean, your internet speed if you're worried about getting 1080p. I mean, the thing is, is like, I don't know, like 1080p is like a, a really solid bar. What computer do you have? Oh, I made it myself. Um, I think I've got the specs linked down below in the description. I've, I've played through the intro before, so I'm just talking over it, uh, mainly for, you know, you guys to sort of see, oh, is there any clippy gameplay? I mean, from what I can see so far, it's super smooth. Uh, we played Destiny 2 earlier, and that was like a really rapid game, so I wanted to go into something more cinematic and see how that looks as well. Uh, and it's it's exactly the same. It's like really responsive, really smooth. No latency issues at all yet. Um, yeah, no, just really impressed. Your uncle is playing Stadia on his Samsung refrigerator right now. That is incredible. I almost, <laughs> I almost want to buy a Samsung refrigerator just for the review, but that would be borderline ridiculous. I mean, in theory, you could, though, yeah. This is Red Dead Redemption 2, which is on Stadia. Try the Google Assist button. It's not there at launch, so it doesn't work right now. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for that. I mean, because personally, being a guide YouTuber, um, that's something that I want to, you know, like, make okay. kind of guides Let's appropriate for as well. Gentlemen, it's just up ahead. Your internet will be with a thousand dollars. No, it won't. I've got unlimited data um, in the UK, so it's not a problem. I don't have like, you know, I'm not playing off like a data plan. Or okay. Let's head down there. I love the snow tracks in this game. It looks incredible. Yes, so what's your name? It's Danny. You know, I actually, um, I got Danny on the Stadia. You know, like when, when they first released MMOs and you're like, I need to get my name. I got Danny. They've also re reserved ESO for me as well. But I'm like, kind of like, do I want to keep Danny or do I want to be ESO? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. And I'm just going to move um, OBS quickly so I can see the Twitch chat. Because sorry, guys, I've it was slightly over you. Do it by the refrigerator. It's so tempting. I mean, just to show you guys, Stadia on a refrigerator would be, like, hilarious, wouldn't it? All right, let's attach our horsey. I get super attached to horses, guys. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Follow Dutch. That's Dutch. Sounds like quite the party. Do you like the Stadia controller? Uh, yeah, I really do like it. I, d I kind of, I want to get used to it because like I'm playing on an Xbox 360 controller right now and the analog sticks are kind of like here and here. Uh, I can kind of show you guys so you get this. Um, and the Stadia controller, the analog sticks are, um, you know, right near your thumbs basically. But the, the Stadia controller is kind of thinner. So like if you're like playing, it's, it's still really comfortable and ergonomic to like grab it. I mean, obviously, like, Google, like, would have put tons of design, um, you know, invested a lot of money into, like, making sure this is comfortable, and it's super comfy. Yeah, I'm just playing on the Xbox controller, because I, I kind of remember the controls on Red Dead for Xbox, so. <laughs> But it's cool that you can you can use a, a PlayStation 3 controller, an Xbox 360 controller, Xbox One controller, PS4 controller, um, and a Stadia controller, or a mouse and keyboard. So, like, if I swap over to mouse and keyboard, you know, still as responsive, uh, no problems at all. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Arthur, get in position. Come on. Do you like pizza? I do. You've missed a lot, my friends. We did like a, a test on desk. Oh, you want me to get in cover over here? Okay, well, that's not really very good cover, is it? I mean, they can literally see me standing here. You happy now? Hello? Peek out of cover. A hundred percent obvious, like, Excuse that there is a man here. Hello? My cover is dire. <laughs> Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh... 
My friends and I, well, we got yeah, and they've like so taken the best of both, I think, the with the controller. Lost in the storm. Hide inside the shed. Oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a body. There's a corpse right here. Is that strange? I also keep corpses in my in my garden under a blanket as well. I didn't think that was odd at all. I honestly can't remember how I. Oh, that's how I get my weapon out. Get wrecked. By the window? Oh, he's up there. Get wrecked, sir. Some jam on oh Jesus, that's still a guy there. Pretty sure he's dead. Wait, wait, is this guy on my team? No. <laughs> Don't worry, bro, I got him. He's dead. I think I'm almost dead, but we can raid this place for some food. How cozy. Take some biscuits. Nom nom nom. Obviously we have to loot everything now because we're RPG players. Why is your head so big, dude? I like to enlarge it just for the stream. Especially in the comment section when people are like... Oh my goodness, I came here for Stadia gameplay and all I can see is Danny's head. Oh, Mace, thanks for stopping by, man. Glad you made it. How did you come up with the name ESO? It stands for Entertainment Strategy Online. And then they released the Elder Scrolls Online and I was like, yeah, great. Now everyone thinks I'm cool with that. ESO is apparently, or the Elder Scrolls Online, is apparently coming to... Um, there's a big price on call the on stadia as well though which is going to be pretty cool yours. i mean it's very for me i i could play this exactly like i do um any game on on console if anyone who hasn't seen yet like you just this is the reactiveness test you can kind of see i mean it's super responsive it's it's like it's like playing a game on my pc you know uh yeah and the so far, like, those of you who've been sitting here for the whole stream, like, I haven't noticed any dips in performance, uh, frame rate, or anything. Have you guys? Let me know. So I wanted to live stream, I just wanted to see what you guys thought. Yeah, like, when I, you're asking about the input lag, like, it's none at all. And same, same with, like, the mouse and keyboard as well, like, absolutely none. Like, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Now, obviously, there are some people complaining about that, um, but I, as you can literally see, haven't experienced any of their issues. Um, is there anything upstairs? Why am I so slow? Can you stream it at 4K to your system? Um, I I don't think you can yet. Though, to be honest, I, I can't actually tell if this is 4K or not, to be honest. Uh, and I'm actually streaming at um, just a bit over 1080p anyway. Um, but I, I think, like obviously, if I plugged the Chromecast into my PC screen, then I could just do that. But... Um, that would that would be one option to to play at um, 4K for now, but I think I think they're rolling out to 4K on your computer as well. But uh, I could be wrong. I just I know it's not there at launch. Uh, currently, you can just do 4K on your TV. I don't think my TV even is 4K right now. So, <laughs> um, right now, like I think so. This is actually 30 FPS as well. Um, just so you guys know, which is all Red Dead Redemption is limited to on PC for some reason. Uh, I think that's PC and Stadia though. 
Uh, for some reason, I've got to open my satchel. Eat a provision. I'm going to have some classic oat cakes because that's what my boy looking. likes. Meet me out here when you're done. I do a fiber broadband. I, I will test out my parents' house though to see, you know, like what the average internet speed is like. Stadia is available to founders um, and they're they're sending it to people um, at the moment. But I, I got it like, um, I got it yesterday and I got my key um, a few hours ago. So, I mean, this is literally like, yeah, my first impressions of it. And I've got no negative comments so far, to be honest. Um, I like to have something negative to say about it in my review video, but yeah, so far... I feel like I want to try playing it at like Costa Wi-Fi or something to see, to see if it's um, what's my investigate the bomb. I'm going. I'm going. How's the input lag? I'll show you guys again just to, like, so this was my input lag test. You guys can see like it's instant feedback, and I mean, yeah, we were playing uh, Destiny. Not is it Destiny Two? Yeah, um, and. Yeah, that was super responsive as well. So, got got no complaints so far. Yeah, I could see it being worth playing at max settings as well. Like, obviously, if you have the computer set up to do it. Um, but the computer setups go out of date, whereas this is just going to be like, you know, always. Oh my goodness! It's not very nice of him, is it? Should I kill him? No, we must no. spare him. Not yet. Interrogate. What they're doing here, and where Calm is. Oh, sorry. Oh, this I tabbed out there. Talk. Question. Where's Calm O'Driscoll? With the others. Can you change the graphic settings? Now, I did look at this earlier. I don't know if I'm stupid. Uh, it could be. I've been known to be very stupid before. But um, if I go to settings, uh, obviously, yeah, it's it's on uh, PC, but it's running through the Stadia browser. So, I mean, as far as I can see, it's not there. Um, and then if I go to display, um, I've got all the settings for, like, you know, the standard cosmetic stuff, um, but no graphical settings because, obviously, it's running on Stadia on Google servers. So um, they're not going to have any graphical settings because it's all just, like, maxed out. Pro being processed on their server so your computer literally doesn't have to do anything apart from like stream it to to the chrome browser so it's like that's it is it hdr yes but you do need stadia pro for it to be hdr um i realized that earlier when i had a look at the Old settings on stadia here, near the lake. What can you change the graphics yeah i'm skeptical Why but happy at the same looking? time yeah i mean i think it depends on your We're personal situation as well train. like if it's going to be worth it to you like if you're like oh okay well i don't have the new console yet i'm going to buy stadia and play all the latest games at like literally a fraction of the cost so what is it like uh the cost for stadia i can't remember like eight or so pounds let's call it 10 pounds a, a month uh which is more than it is um and then if you want to buy a console, well, that's going to be like £250 or something, uh, where a stadium will cost you 120 for the pro subscription a year. And even next year, it's going to be free as well. Uh, and then you're going to buy games on either console anyway. So as long as you're going to have internet, like it's it's fine really, isn't it? Let's spare this poor man. I don't know the exact price, so don't quote me on that. Just go, go and check it for yourself. Um, obviously... You don't, the thing is, is you can subscribe to Stadia and I'm pretty sure like, you don't need the controller. Right now, I'm playing it on my computer with an Xbox 360 controller. I can also play it with my mouse and keyboard like this. Uh, and it's it's fine on either. It works really well. So you, you actually technically could play it without the controller or the Chromecast. But obviously, like one of the main features about it is being able to like swap between your screens and um, play the game, you know, uh, on the go and just bring it around your friend's house and whatnot, but yeah, yeah, it's so it's nine ninety nine, so it's ten dollars um, a month. So yeah, that's <laughs> so good. I I just think it's like 
obviously for certain types of people it's going to be like a no-brainer decision um i as long as you have like good internet and like yeah if, it's just yeah so far i've got no complaints at all um okay what are we doing what's my objective return to the barn oh right what did i miss here sorry i'm completely reading the chat and just chatting and not really playing makes me wonder if it's running off an xbox one lol i mean i can show you it's not if you like so you can see here that's the stadia tab i can hold escape to exit um and also We've got like the controller audio and you can see me and i think this is how like you can invite your friends and stuff so it's kind of like it's a little bit like imagine like the steam overlay um but it's just playing in the chrome browser which is just such a weird concept like you can literally just load up stadia on your phone connect a controller and then just be like yeet i meant to take the horse pick up your gun where is my gun there it is it's glowing Oh, was my hat. Oh, I forgot about this. You always lose your hat in this game. Any frame rate drops? Literally none that I can see. Obviously, this is 30 FPS because it's Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I think the other one was at 60 FPS, Destiny 2. Um, and there were no frame rate drops on that either. Um, oh, calm down, buddy. Whoa, whoa, easy. Easy now. That's how you calm a horse. And then you give it a hard pat. And then he's yours. It's that easy, guys. Hello there, from Bristol, eh? I've been to Bristol once. Do you need to buy the game? So there's some games you get for free. Uh, each month they're going to do like a free game you get. Um, and then you get like a discount if you're Stadia Pro um, if you buy a game like certain games but Red Dead Redemption I brought that full price which is I was kind of like I don't have it on PC I did buy it on console ages ago but I kind of like want to play it at 4k on PC and it's just easier to record and stuff so I've got like no regrets for, for buying it I know it's a good game but um yeah obviously i think it's gonna be it's gonna look better when like more new games come out because um like obviously there's gonna be some games that are released and re-released on stadia and might be at full price i don't know um but yeah i guess it depends what it's worth for you like if you if you're like buying the same game again then obviously it's not going to be as worth it which i think there is going to be some crossover like at the start for people what's going on inside here then Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them or dressed. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Man. I wonder if you can find her uh, hiding in the house before you actually, uh... I wonder if you can find her hiding in the house when you go in there to search it before you go to the barn. No harm. Miss. So you, you're saying this is 4K. I don't know. I don't know if it is, but... We need to get out of here and quick. Because I'm pretty, I'm streaming just above like 1080p. I think like 1920 by 1080. You okay, man? Is that 4K? Um, but obviously that means like, and YouTube like reduces the quality as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would take like the quality you see if it's like less than it should be with a grain of salt. Because obviously OBS and then YouTube, and that's going to compress it slightly. Can Stadia do ray tracing? Yeah, like 100%. I'm like 99% sure it would be able to. Just because like it takes all the processing power on itself. No lag at all. What's your ping latency? How is there a way to test my ping? Um, I don't think there is, but like I have no latency as far as I can see. What's your name, miss? I play League of Legends a lot and I have like a ping of 20 in that um, to give you an idea. Um, and I also play Hunt Showdown, used to get a ping of like 50, but their servers aren't very good. But I'm, I'll show you, I'll show you like uh, me moving the controller and how responsive it is in a minute after this cutscene. Okay, so the, the assistance button, uh, I don't have this plugged in because currently you can't wirelessly connect it to your computer. Um, so if you press this though it basically just comes up with a notification saying that it's not available yet because they haven't like finished 
you know like sorting it out as one of the quite a few of the features aren't available yet um which is obviously i'm looking forward to when they are is the compression visible no i, I mean so youtube videos appear dark when you upload them but that's not it really there is more about apparently when I heard they are going to use AI to predict your move, it sounds so ridiculous and this confirms it. I mean, what confirms it? I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Literally, that is how multiplayer servers work already. Like, if you play Call of Duty, like Hunt Showdown, like any FPS, that's how the servers work. They predict what's going to happen before it happens and where your character is based on where you are at home and where another player is at home and where you last were and when you shot your gun. That's literally how multiplayer servers work. So of course they're going to use AI to like make latency like almost not visible. If it sounds strange to you, it's just because you don't understand it, but it's something that like video games have been doing for years and years. Get yourself to bed. What if you stream content and take it down after the stream? Well, no, because if... Well, it dep that's like another topic for another video, but just the way the copyright system works on YouTube is like... Really doesn't favor the creator. He ain't been seen in days. Where there ain't let up. He's strong. If you pre-order the Founders Edition, you should get your code uh, already today, um, in theory. Um, if you didn't pre-order the Foundation's Foundation Edition, I think they like staggered it a bit. I don't know why, or I, I don't know the full story I'm sorry, there, so I'm sorry to I can't really tell you. Let's let's skip this cutscene, and then I can show you like me moving my controller and how good the uh, latency is. He kept riding north and never looked back. Honestly, Red Dead Redemption, like playing it for the first time, is like watching a movie as much as playing a game. Do you pay for the games? You pay for some of them, like so you can literally check which ones are free. Um, and some of them are discounted to pro members. So the only so you will be able to play Stadia at some point next year at 1080p, um, I think 30 or 60 FPS for free. Um, so they're going to roll that out at some point next year, apparently. Um, but if you pay for the pro version, you'll be able to pay, play it now and at 4K 60fps. Which is obviously a big selling point for many people. And you also get discounts on some of the games. There's a game list. Um, I think I can... we look through the store in a bit. Um, I'll show you guys the store before we end the video. Have a chat about that. I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch, yeah. And it's streaming the game to your PC. Impressive. Yeah, I know. Like, And it takes up like literally no like performance. So, okay, now we can move. This is like me looking left, right, left, right. I mean, it's instant. You can see. It's just, there's, there's no, there's no latency at all. Now, obviously, I'm using an Xbox controller just because I can. I could plug in the Stadia controller. Currently, it doesn't connect to computers via Wi-Fi. That's, I think they're going to add that at some point. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. it's. I can also show you on the mouse and keyboard as well. Like so, well, Actually, no, I can. Like If I go like this, uh, you guys can see it's instant, yeah? So, yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's like, it's literally like no frame rate drop, no nothing, like... And like, I know this game as well is like super intensive when it comes to like your frame rate because my computer literally wouldn't be able to play it like Stadia can. So, where the hell have you gone? Oh, he's over there. Here, Arthur. Arthur, I can see the tracks. Please come over. <sighs> when are you going to the live Skyrim playthrough? What else can we play for in Skyrim, my friend? You tell me. Depends. Link me a good mod to play for. Sure, Try aiming with the mouse. Uh, yeah, I can. I can't remember how I get out my gun, actually. Um, oh, that's it, isn't it? You hold down LB, and you get your gun out like that. Okay. So, if I aim with my mouse... I mean, it's the same same situation. It's, yeah, it's just really responsive. 
I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> I can keep showing you guys. Uh, Dutch killed a girl in a bad Do you know way. if Warhorse is working on a new game? A well, I don't know, my friend. Don't know if I can tell you. If I did know, I'd have to kill you. Can you push the unpause? Can you push the pause and unpause a few times? What do you mean, like on the controller or like this? Like that? For latency. So do you want me to do it like that? Yeah, is that okay? Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. If there's any other tests you guys want me to do, just let me know. Uh, just like message me on uh, on here on the comment section, and I will do it for you. Bad business, all right. A live stream of a two-hour intro. <laughs> no, well, we did play Destiny two earlier. So, because I showed off that as well. We can jump back on it at the end as well for those people that missed it for some reason. Um, yeah. You got your code an hour ago and your shipment arrives tomorrow. Awesome, man. I mean, you can play right now. Literally, you don't even need the Stadia controller. Just use your mouse and keyboard on, like, your laptop or something. Um, hopefully, you've got a mouse for it and not a touchpad. That would be pretty sad. <laughs> Ride and aim at more specific points on the screen. Um, okay. Honestly, um, I'm not great at this game anyway, so how do I... I think it's... Is it like... I think it's stuck me at a certain walking pace right now. But if I, like, carry on... If I try and keep it on him, on his, like, hat or something. But he's constantly moving up and down, so this is... But, uh, I don't know, like... Is that kind of... Is that showing you latency? I don't know. Latency is kind of like the response. So if I press the space bar, it's like, do I jump instantly or not, right? But I mean, it's it's really easy to track targets. If it looks hard, then it's because I'm just bad at FPS games, I guess. But I mean, I can very easily keep my point on that little rock there. It's a dead horsey. Rip horsey. Let's see if he can hear us. I think he's over here. Come on. Up there. Adelante. You're, I'm making you want this. Well, by all means, wait for my full review. I might um, get some extra information or things I missed about it. And, uh, you know, you guys can then have an informed somewhere. decision. If that makes sense. What happens if I want to ride my horse off that cliff? Oh, I have a shotgun? Nice. Definitely be grabbing that. Where is it? RT. There we go. Nice. What are you playing this on? I'm playing it on a computer. Um, through Stadia. So it's basically in a web browser. I'll just show you guys like... So that's Stadia right there. That's my account. Uh, and I can exit the game and it just takes you like to the Chrome browser. So I can literally open up any browser, even at like your house, and just start playing Stadia like this. Uh, which is it's crazy cool. Like, I don't... I mean, I remember the times where... And you could have like two Stadia controllers or an Xbox controller and a Stadia controller and just start playing like a co-op couch game with your friend. So I mean, like that's just such a cool concept. Because I remember, like, when they stopped making co-op couch games and just, you know, you needed, like, two consoles to play a game or something. So it really does change it up for people. How long have you been on? I don't know. It's probably been, like, an hour. Yeah, just over an hour, I think, now. Watch your head here. Oh, Ellis to crouch. Okay. Just to make it clear, if you download something on your PC like Origin Steam, Epic Game Store, this might have inflict lag on issues on Stadia. I have the Epic Game Store, Stadia, Rockstar Launcher, Uplay, and the Bethesda Launcher, and I have no issues. I mean, like, you guys can see it runs perfectly smooth, so I don't really know what you mean by that comment. I literally have every game launcher, that's so annoying. It takes up so much memory. <laughs> I'm fine crouching, actually, my friend. 
What time is it there? So it's actually coming on to, I think, like half ten now or something. So X to climb. Okay, I got it in the end. Yeet. Almost fell to my death there. Yeah, so, I mean, this is like peak time, obviously, in the UK that people are going to be not watching, consuming internet streaming stuff, so I've not been affected by it personally, but that's why I want to test it at my parents' house as well, because, you know, that will give us a good idea about how good it is. How you doing? I'm miserable. I can see that's easily going over days. one terabyte a month. I mean, it depends. Like, if you're playing at like streaming at 4K, 60 FPS, then yeah, obviously. In the UK, we have unlimited internet um, as long as you're in your own house. So, I mean, that's fine. I mean, a lot of mobile contracts offer unlimited internet as well. So you could almost set it up as a hotspot. Um, I'd, I'd be interesting to try that too, actually. In order to pay this, I have to pay $129. No, you don't actually. Like, so right now. I'm playing uh, with an Xbox controller. Uh, I can also play with my keyboard as well. And I've just like got the founder's key. Um, I brought Red Dead Redemption and I'm playing in a Chrome browser. So literally, yeah, I didn't, I don't, I'm not using the controller at all. So I mean, technically you don't need it. Um, and I think in the future as they roll it out, uh, it's gonna be free for 1080p 60 fps which is pretty incredible it's like a free service that's quite a scratch you got there never thought i'd say this but good to see you arthur morgan where can i get stadia um just go on the stadia website and check you it out look so good i don't feel too good neither <clears throat> why do you think there's so many bad reviews um i don't know to be honest like so this is just my own personal experience based on like playing the game literally in my house um and i was playing on a phone screen and my tv downstairs that seemed fine and then i played it on my computer that was good and i just started live streaming it recording my screen right now uh and yeah it's just like really good like i honestly so far if i had to complain about anything um to do with gameplay like i just wouldn't be able to tell you Oh no, it's a doge. Moon Moon is approaching over the horizon. I have to focus now. Just drop him, drop him on the floor. We'll leave him for dead. We'll use him as bait, don't worry. We'll, we'll run the other direction. Just swagger up to them like a boss. Better stay away. Whoa, bro, that's my arm. Distract them or savagely destroy them. If you have a bad connection, Stadia isn't for you. Yeah, for some people, I guess it's not going to be for you. Hence, like, I guess the bad reviews. I don't know, like. I don't know if these people would had like bad connections or what, but yeah, so far I just have no issues at all with it. Come on, then. I mean, the games on Stadia are like exactly the same price as you'd buy them in real life. What you're paying for, I guess, is like a free console. Oh, it's not a free console, but you're like paying a subscription service for what is effectively a console. Um, so I get it, um, but yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone. Like, if you still want to spend you know twice the amount of money on buying a console and then also the games then it's up to you um the advantage being i guess you get to play them offline but yeah it's like if stadia makes sense for you like it's just really good for me at least yeah i think there's obviously gonna be a lot of fanboys like some people are like oh well i like to own millions of video games in my closet um i just but personally i i kind of don't really like physical video games much now um 
keep on pressing X to reload. I think I've been playing the games too much. X is jump. Yeet! Look at me. I can't see anything, mate. It's so snowy. Just about. You're gonna be okay. No, the gameplay is really smooth, isn't it? Thanks for coming for me. How's your input lag? So I'll show you guys again. Like, so that's left, that's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You guys can kind of tell, like, the the input lags is super responsive. I mean, I've I've not I've not like been playing and there's been any like jumps or anything like that. Or because when I was playing at um, the Stadia event at Gamescom, there was one point where like. Or, like the game kind of like stopped for a second then like started playing again it was only like a split second it kind of like stopped and then started again um and also there were like maybe i don't know it just felt it felt quite smooth there as well but like it feels better in my house than it does there at the gaming convention which was under google's control and then now i'm in my own house and it's just like i can't believe it's this good man are you part viking no, but my fiance is, so I'm guessing that. One day I will become a true Nord. Animal harm demonetized. Yeah, literally, man. Tell me about it. It's, it's not even funny anymore. I like the big spots collector editions. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's that is cool. I agree. I mean, I don't know if they'll do that for Stadia as well because that's like a really huge selling point, especially with like you know. The uh, Fallout, the Fallout helmet. Uh, pursuit. What is this task? This is my. Okay. I don't need to read that. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. Thank you, Waffer Morgan. I made my own line character thank earlier. He just has like a huge you, beard and like hair like Lost this, and he just you can just see his eyes Not looking today. through all the hair. He kind of looks like the Sasquatch or something. <laughs> Any update on the YouTube situation? I I did speak to YouTube. Um, they said that Corey do anything to be honest like. They're going to look Come into on, it, but they didn't really know it was a problem Richard, that Richard. if your video gets copyright striked and because the profits are tied to it, that you then like lose all the revenue. So, yeah, it just sucks, really. We have been running for weeks. We found Let's, shelter. Can we skip this? No, the there's some cutscenes you just can't skip for some reason. Some old abandoned mine in town while we wait to thaw. How long have you been playing? Um, just Hardly over an hour and a half, I believe. Fall. How's the input lag? I can show you guys again. I've literally, I think, I show over in every five minutes at this point. Um, so like you can see, like literally, no input lag at all. Same on mouse and keyboard as well. Like it's, you know, really responsive. Got no issues so far. It's all, yeah. It's just, it's like as responsive as if I was playing it on. Um, Doubtful, just worried. on my actual computer and not streaming it for a browser well, so really impressed so hard to say, but I trust your judgment Dutch always have Thank you, son. if you like we can we can hop back on um, destiny we can exit this game Let's hold escape to exit and we go back to the stadia home page. you can see it's like literally running in a browser we can go back to the game like that and it carries on playing or can, it's just running in a browser it's, it's crazy it's like yeah that's it like then you can just go and hop onto another game it means like put in another disc and you just you don't need to install it or like um download it or anything like it's it's really weird to be honest with you like and yeah, now we play Destiny 2. It's like, it's so strange. Let's play this on a mouse and keyboard. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. See, it's just, it's hilarious. You say Stadia's trash, like, I mean, from what I've seen of it so far, I feel it's fucking amazing, man. Yeah, if you're playing on bad internet, then like, yeah, obviously it's not gonna work as well. But if you're playing on good internet, that makes sense. Danny, can you do a speed test for me? I will do it in the review, mate. Um, I just don't want to, like, log off, show you guys my Gmail account and whatnot. Because uh, I'm using my personal Gmail account and not my business one. The reason 
yours runs better than the one at Gamescom is because the one at Gamescom was being streamed from 50 miles away at 25 megabytes per second to show how strong their servers were. I didn't know that, actually. I mean, to be honest, it seems weird that they'd do that anyway because they'd almost be like... Some people said negative things about it um, based on that. I don't know, because I think I did a speed test um, at Gamescom and the one I was playing on was not... 25 megabytes per second it was a lot faster so i definitely think that's whoever said that must be lying <laughs> maybe the ones the public were playing on were but um but not the one i was playing on but yeah i think 25 megabytes per second is the cutoff point for 60 fps 1080p uh i yeah i like i said i've not played this game so i honestly have no idea what i'm doing but uh, I just kind of want to jump into something and show you guys some gameplay to show, yeah, the FPS is still really good and we can hop in and out. Um, what am I doing? What's this? The Lost City? How do I go on a, on a quest? Launch. Yes. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> My ship looks sick, though. Yeah, I get if you live in the country, then it's probably more limiting to you. Unfortunately, if you like live in the city, though, it's just such a such a nice thing. Yeah, data caps aren't a thing for me in the UK, so I mean, I'm fine. Cloud gaming has been around for ages, but Google are the first people with the infrastructure to. I mean clearly fully support it based on what i've seen here today playing and literally having no skips no freezes no fps issues no latency issues at all i'm yeah i mean you guys have seen it here on the live stream it's like a no bs stream that i just i just wanted to like play it and be like this is stadia what do you guys think and you know not it's not a joke like it works really well if you have good internet clearly so many other ones tell me you'd like to see this to shadow gaming to see the new pricing comparison i don't know i think is that nvidia shadow play or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called nvidia shield or something i don't know i, I kind of like kind of put my money behind stadia just because it's backed by google and i feel like you know they must figure out eventually am i meant to press something here or or does my ship eventually land I don't know how this game works. <laughs> Do some crucible. PvP will be the real test. Yeah, that's true. Am I, am I meant to press something here? Like, I honestly have no idea how to play Destiny. Hmm. Should I exit the game? I don't know the controls. <laughs> Maybe I should plug in my controller and press buttons on that. Or should I just exit the game? Let's exit the game. Let's try again. Hmm. If anyone knows how to play Destiny, let me know. Oh, it's loading. Okay. Because all, all the other loading suits were like super fast. So that was like really long. It will load. Okay. The tower is loading. Oh, that's, that is, that's really weird, because, like, the other loading screens are like that. But maybe it's because Destiny's online, I don't know. That's interesting, though. Are, are the loading screens that long on any game? For Destiny. That felt, like, too long. <laughs> What's your monitor? Uh, God, it's a Samsung... I don't, I think it's like, I think it's 
my monitor's actually like 30 FPS as well. Um, it can go up to 60 FPS, but I usually do it at 30 FPS because when you're playing like Skyrim fully modded, like it will kill my computer, especially with the mod list we have on our website. Okay, so. I honestly don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, the earth. We have earth, the farm. Let's just go here and then wait for it to load this time. It's also putting you in an online instance, so that might be why. Oh, really? If it's with other players, because I, I looked when I was um, playing, going to PvP, the thing is, is um, because Stadia, if Destiny isn't cross-platform with like PC and Xbox, okay, so this loading screen was super fast. I don't know what happened with the other one then. Um, but if it's searching for multiplayer games, it may be because there's no one else like has Google Stadia yet. Because I looked at the how to install, which is an unlisted Google Stadia video. It only had 40 views. So, um, so Stadia is laggy. No, not at all. I mean, this is the input, if I show you guys, like, left, right, left, right, left, right. I mean, there's no lag, no latency, and, like, no lag either. I don't know what happened with the loading screen there. Oh, this guy's waving at me. I am a, a mere noob. I don't, is it cross-platform? Uh, I don't actually know. It takes 15 seconds on Xbox. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I, I don't know how Destiny works either, so... How do I get into a fight? Well, either way, you guys can go back to the uh, gameplay at the start and you Let's can see what's, what a Destiny looks like um, in a gunfight and whatnot. But yeah, I'm not going to waste your time with trying to figure out how to start a quest in this game because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But guys, I'm going to end the stream here. So thank you so much for watching. And Sam, thanks so much for the donation. Damn dude, Stadia works. Either my engineering degree is worthless, less than this super chat, or your internet is hella good. Also, you better get this money. Thanks, dude. Hopefully, I've been... There's no reason for them to copyright this... Copyright strike this video. There's no reason to cop for them to copyright strike the last one either. So I'm sure I, I eventually will. Uh, fingers crossed. But guys, thanks so much for the support. Thanks for watching the live stream. I hope you guys liked what you saw. I was clearly super impressed. Like, I still kind of can't believe it, like, how good it is. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section. And I will see you in my full review video. Maybe we'll do another live stream uh, playing some more Red Dead. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I will do another vote on Twitter or something like that for you guys to let me know what you want to see but uh yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye